I'm Natalie Wiebelhaus, and I'm a senior at Lincoln High. My father told me never to be alone with a guy, or two, or three, to keep the door open and not accept rides from those with intentions that are only good enough. He taught me not to walk alone at night, because the dark isn't safe for girls, statistically speaking. Unreported rape is a problem among young people, with over 90% of college rapes never reported to authorities. We blame it on peer pressure. But I think there really is confusion over whose responsibility it was to say no. We blame it on the culture, accusing it of rape as if it somehow had the power to penetrate. But when teenage persons are accustomed to the privileges of adulthood and re-gifted to the excuses of childhood and the loss of promising futures, is blamed on simple mistakes, as if maturity had anything to do with it and at some age this was actually considered acceptable. The, their environment tells them by saying nothing that if she's not awake to say no, they can do as they please. Force isn't required to molest a limp body as if rape were a matter, were merely a disregarded protest and rape prevention a matter of adding and subtracting clothing instead of a mind which divides human worth by the exponential growth of their appetites. Maybe it's because all of our conversations about sex are about abstinence and contraceptives instead of respect and emotional health as if the only side effect that matters is pregnancy and the only damage done is to the victim. My father taught me to say no and that I don't have to drink at parties because I am responsible for myself even when others neglect their moral duty. Because casting blame is useless. It's always after the fact, but you can take as much responsibility as you want. In fact, prevention. Malik Richmond and Trent Mays are owed an apology. From their parents, their coaches, and their peers who said boys will be boys instead of saying no, so that they could become the kind of men with futures worth having, instead of make-believe lovers with no immunity to hatred, potential and promise eternally eclipsed by malnourished minds, molesting and mistreating until the walls fell down and exposed their egos, shivering and naked. Jane Doe is owed an apology from those who violated her, not only those who violated her body, but from those who belittled her pain, as if that would lessen it, and as if denial could alter the complexion of ugly, vomited from Steubenville. My father taught me not to be afraid. Not of relationships or of trusting men or even of my own mistakes. He taught me not to be afraid to tell the truth. 